and we're BFOL, Brother Fans of Lego, here today with, a, finally, well, once promised, Lego Batman movie set, the Riddler Riddle Racer. This was one of our first Batman movie sets, and I got this one here. It features five minifigures, 254 pieces, set number 70903 from 2017, and cost about $30 in the U.S. Well, let's see. Where should I start? Well, probably with the minifigs. So I'll move this Riddler racer and this little thing out of the way. So, I'll name the figures first. From left to right here, we have Kite Man, Magpie, Batman, Riddler, and Calendar Man. Alright, so three of these people I've never heard of before. Obviously, Calendar Man, Kite Man, and Magpie. Riddler was one of the classic 1966 villains, so I've heard of him. And I've heard of Batman, of course. Who hasn't heard of Batman? But here we go. So, Kite Man here. Let me remove that. Magpie is breaking on me. Let me remove the figures. Okay. Start off with Kite Man. So, Kite Man here has this nice rubber, really big rubber, um, kind of big long pipe piece. He also has one of the newer styled 2017 motorbike racing helmets. Just look at that from the side. Move that down a bit, but there, see? It's one of the newer style ones. He also gets a transparent red visor. That helmet also comes with a exclusive print with a kite there. His face really reminds me of Thrandrill from The Hobbit. I can really see it in him. Let's see. Um, his wings are fold out, can fold out and in. He has nice printing. Doesn't look like he's very in shape and muscle and has pretty much no muscles. But Batman is way more. But let's see, he has a belt with a kite symbol there. And he has emerald green legs. He doesn't really want to stand over unless he's leaning forward on any other surfaces but studs on studs. He does want to stand up, which is good. Uh, let's see, back on his back here. Let me quickly do this a second. He has one of those clear packs, kind of like from a few other sets. I think this is one of my first sets to review with them. Okay, move him out of the way because, wait, back printing. It's not really much. All it is is showing the back part of the utility belt, so I don't really need to show it. Here we go with Mag Pie. Um, we've had her hair piece uh, lots of times, though only twice in white, once for Mag Pie. And once for Killer Frost. Um, yeah, pretty much same hair piece there. Just Magpie's a little taller, mainly because of this angled brick here. Yes, that's an angled, an actual brick, a Lego brick for dresses. I like how they do that. And there's the exclusive print for that one. She has a stick of dynamite. They do give you a second one to put in her hand. Um, so, face, good. Uh, this one figure, the, ooh, there was something I did forget to show you on Kite Man, so I'll move her out of the way for a second. And I'll flip around Kite Man's face. Yeah, it's true, he has an alternate face. A very happy alternate face. A very, very happy alternate face. He is very happy. Oh, my wing busted on me. Uh, let me try to fix it there. Um, okay, I'll fix. But, there. Alright, now back to Magpie. Magpie here again. Finally again. So here we have the 
She has this nice black armor um, piece, as well as like a red jewel there, which is just a one by one round tile. This figure does have an alternate face, which is a very angry alternate face, like a snarling Argh! alternate face. Uh, let me try to show you the body print, as well as the back print. There's the front print for Magpie, and here is the back print for Magpie. Okay, now... I can't believe all these villains are actually real, but I don't believe Magpie shows up in the thing, in the Batman movie. I never actually seen her in it. Maybe once, but I don't remember it, literally. But she has two studs on her back, kind of like Hype Man, but... Never seen this person in the movie. Never, ever. All right, now up here we have, well, I'd say I'm not going to do the star of the set yet, which it depends on how you want it. It could be you, like, it could be Batman. We have way too many Batman, Lego Batman movie Batmans. Like, we have so many of them. So, here is... I suppose I can do Batman. He has this bat version of Batman has two bat orangs, the longer version of cowl. A very stern expression there. I like how they do this with the black headband and little white slots. Alternate face for this one is kind of a concerned, kind of surprised, kind of confused face. I like how that looks through the cowl there. He has his nice traditional bat symbol, and again, way more muscles than Kite Man. Way more. He has a new, for the Batman movie, utility belt. Not printed on the body, but just there. It's like this. It's really cool. It goes all the way around, and they come in different colors. They come in orange, purple, and yellow. We have all three colors. We have been trying to collect all of the Batman sets, and pretty much... Almost to our goal. So there'll be a lot of Batman movie reviewing coming up. So just be prepared. Back print for this one. Shows more muscles. Good. Um, that's pretty much it for that figure. Um, next up is a very weird figure. This is the Calendar Man. He has a belt. I love it. It's made from cal uh, calendar pages, which I love that. Head gear, definitely good. Um, face, concern, no alternate face, though, for this one. Uh, definitely love this figure, though. The best part of the figure is definitely his cape. Um, number one, again, adding to our double molded leg collection. Here's some red and white, or white and red double molded legs. So, he has pretty much all the numbers in the calendar. He has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and then it goes to 31 up there. So, so cool. Love it. Just plain love it. That is a, those are two capes. There's a shorter version, and there's a longer version. There's the belt for the cape again. Um, so, yeah, love this figure. Totally but. The cape, unlike most capes, like Batman's here, number one, this is in the softer material. Um, Catman's, Catman's cape is cut up into, like, shreds, so that's not good. But other than that, love the figure. So cool. Definitely he's one of my favorites in the Batman movie. Last up is what I count the star of the set. The Riddler himself. Love this headgear with the kind of sideways green bowler hat with the green question mark. He has purple, um, a purple mask and a very sly, cheeky expression. He also has he also has question marks going all over his outfit. If you might not have noticed it before, those are printed legs, but you can barely see it because it's just print on the hips. And of course, when all your minifigs were busted in a big tub, like. Ours were. They're very hard to find, those legs. Alternate face. Good. Kind of a annoyed face there. 
Uh, question mark K, really good. That green piece is a total separate piece. Love it. I think I'll leave that face on Riddler. I like it. Nah. But he needs to have his first face. Okay. So, he has question marks all over his arms. As well as some green gloves. Back for, for this one, way too many question marks. I like the hair. Um, so, pretty much it for the minifigs. Don't have a lot of time, um, so better go ahead and review with this big thing. This big sleek sports car, eight stud wide car. Ugh. He has buzz saws for wind mirrors. Ouch. Or, that's so weird. He has a sticker here. There's very few stickers in this set. I believe there is only two. There is one there used for his console, though you can barely see it. I mean, it would be okay to leave the stickers out of this set if you don't like stickers. I like stickers. But, these glass window pieces can fold out. No idea what that's for, though. Um, here he has... This can fold up, revealing a black inkit. I like inkits. They're cool. And two guns. Pew, 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 pew. Ah. And that's actually how they do sound effects in the Batman movie. And for gunshots, it's pew, 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 pew. I like that. Here's the use of a Speed Champions canopy to cover up the engine. I like that. Um... Pretty much like everything about this set. This can be angled up and down. I'll just put Riddler in his seat to show you how it looks here. Just pop him in. The This can fold up. And if you notice spring-loaded shooters, then you are correct. Green spring-loaded shooters. And those really shoot far. I don't think I can get that, but I can go try. Well, that's pretty much it for the Riddler Racer, but it does go very fast, even though it's very low to the ground, but it goes very fairly fast. He has a steering wheel there, and I just like this thing in general. It's cool. Finally, last up is the instruction manual here. Fairly thick. Let me see how many pages are in this one. Um, 79, it looks like. There's a lot of pages. It shows set number there, and it shows Batman's face up there. A uh, bad thing about this, that spring-loaded shooter is way smaller um, than it really is in the real world. So, as you start, bag one has Calendar Man, Batman, and Kite Man. Bag two has Riddler and Magpie. So you build through the entire Riddler, Riddle Racer. And, hold on, you build through the Riddler Riddle Racer, and then at the back it shows you the action features, and then it shows you four other Batman movie sets, the Scuttler, the Joker Lowrider, Clayface Splatack, and the Batcave Break-In, all those we have now, um, let's see, so, shows you some Batman stuff, Shows you some Justice League stuff, which by the time had been out for two years. So don't know why they're showing a two-page long parts list. Has a lot of parts, 254. And on the back of this one is Clay Morrington from Nexo Knights. So, all in all, I would say that this set is really good. So as for the review, well, I just said it, really good. I think this set... Lots of people should mainly have it. So, bye for now. I'm Mr. Squirtle Apple, brother, fans of Lego.